I say hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is the 21 of December. Yeah, I have the same t-shirt and this is pre-recorded because um, I figured out I don't have time to record these videos the last couple of days of December. So I'm pre-recording it and releasing it on this specific day. I bought this from One to Sell Retro. And here you can see the link. Um, I'll get on later on in the video what this note is for. So, a disclaimer is if you bought this Christmas calendar, I would wait for after Christmas opening, watching these videos, because I do not want to ruin your experience of whatever you got in your package that day. Because I don't know if he mixed up the games or everyone's getting the same on the specific day, whoever bought the calendar. So that sets. However, if you did, want to continue watching this video and you have the Christmas calendar um, I really want to know what you got in, in your package today from him from the calendar and of course you're free to leave that in the comments below so let's see I have now opened a here so I'm actually interesting cause uh, let's see monster bash that's a game I've heard about before. Have never tried it, but I've heard something because it's a Bapuji. Maybe I have tried it before. Hmm. Okay, and then we have Oxid. I think this is the fourth, ver <laughs> the fourth time that game is on these discs. I guess they gave up finding other games or they didn't uh, get any, um, what do you call it? Um, permission to use their games. Then we have Blind Justice. I haven't heard about that before. Body Count. Haven't heard about that either. The Dragon's Domain 3. I think that was on... Mm, yeah, two, two days ago it was on the same disc. No, nonetheless. Now I have it on more discs, but it's okay. And of course, I'm taking it out of the plastic foil. And if you're living it, living in Denmark, do not throw this in your normal garbage. Put, we have a specific recycling spot in our centers, so please recycle responsibility. So as everyone else, I'm gonna put this plastic sleeve or whatever to good use. Again, click. Click, and there it goes. Easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. And this one I am going to put in the recycling center as well, in the hard plastic. Uh, the reason why I'm putting my games in these plastic sleeves is mainly because I'm downsizing my volume. Meaning I'm at the point where I don't really have space for expansion. Um, and I found this nice website where I can buy these plastic sleeves specifically for this. Though these were for audio CDs, but it can just as well use this for these games. Because um, it takes up less space. Now, it's finally in the cover. So as for this note I showed earlier, I'm going to put this in the plastic sleeve here as well. Reason for that maybe one month, half a year, year down the line. I want to go and um, I find this game and I want to play it and then I can see where I got it from. Um, I like to have my information where I got my games from, stuff like that. Uh, specifically when you have a large archive as I have. I'm, I'm going to put up an update in the new year of my entire archive I have because my basement is at the moment in a bit of a mess. but. Um, you can subscribe if you want to follow me on that one. But I'm definitely going to put up some new information about my archives in the new year. Because it's almost done. So um, that's it from here. So I thank you for watching. And um, I will see you tomorrow.